my name is Stacy, and for the past 10 years, I've been volunteering at Save the Animals Foundation. 10 years ago, in like the winter, I walked into my local Kroger, and there were dogs outside, and I was like, ooh, dogs! And I had to stop and pet them, and the volunteers handed me a brochure and said, would you like to volunteer? And ironically, I was actually looking to volunteer. I finally got to a place in my life where I thought I would have time for something that, for something like that. And ten years later, I'm still here and more involved than ever. And, you know, Save the Animals Foundation staff is the best volunteer opportunity for someone looking for a place where they want to be a part of their community and make a difference in their community not just come to a place and like brush cats or pat cats or walk dogs. This is a place where you can really work, where it becomes a family environment, and where you really make a difference in your community. And, you know, here at staff, I came my very first day, and, you know, they said, you know, first of all, don't wear anything nice. And I was kind of like, okay. And then they took me back, and here I was, and I'm, I'm scooping poo, and I'm filling water dishes, and I'm, you know, filling food dishes, and I'm, like, using this cool central vac system that sounds really great when you get to suck up lots of litter, and it's really fun. And, but I'm surrounded in, like, a big sunny room with, like, 20 cats, and it's like a dream come true. And I still remember the first cat I knew their name, and her name was Dory, and she's still here today at staff. And she had unusual eyes, but she was the neatest cat. She'd jump up on the door and greet me. And I think that's the coolest part about staff, is that the cats know you too. Every volunteer cleans in basically the same area week after week. And the cats, ironically, know your routine. So they know that on Thursday, Stacy's coming in and we're going to play games with Stacy. And every volunteer has their own unique games that they play with cats or silly things that they do for them or cute little nicknames that they have for their cats. And every volunteer has a favorite cat or, you know, a different cat that they really pay attention to. So here at staff, it's not about just scooping poo or filling food dishes and running out. It's about spending time here and sitting on the floor with them and playing silly games and doing fun things with the cats because they're a part of your family now. You know, everyone asks me, how many cats do you have? And I say, well, I live with the Fab Four felines, but I'm really responsible for the care of 500 cats. And I think that is a fantastic thing to say. Like, I don't think of them as just those shelter cats. To me, they're my cats too. And I look as we sit here and look at the cats running around in the room, and I think about some of their stories. And I think about where they came from. Like Rhett here, he spent some time getting used to being here at staff. And like we'd walk by and he'd like snag you in the arm. And that was his first greeting to you. Like, wait, you need to stop and look at me. And he needed a lot of baby talk and he needed some soothing. And he's like, okay, I kind of like you people. And then you could open his door and you could like pat his head. And then he'd have enough and he didn't want that anymore. And then pretty soon he was, you know, like a normal cat. And while he didn't want tummy time, he's gotten used to tummy time now, and now you can pick him up and you can cuddle him and you can kiss him on his head. And who knew that he could come that far? A lot of other places would have just dismissed him and put him in a feral room. And that's not Save the Animals Foundation. And our volunteers don't want that. They want every animal to know the love and safety and protection that every cat should have. And I think that's what makes staff unique is we come in here and we treat everybody like family, and there are cats. If you're interested in volunteering at Save the Animals Foundation, please go to our website, www.staff.org, or call our volunteer line, 513-561-7823, because everyone needs a brown tabby boyfriend in their lives.